Okay, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to actually use this top portion of your name and create a boundary on top that follows the curve okay, of, of your name. Uh, but let's first uh, move this one lower. So I'm going to try to move this just a little bit, move the whole name. And I want to move that not that much, but just a little bit lower. Um, Maybe, maybe there. I guess a little bit more lower. Because what I'm going to do is we're going to uh, do an offset here. But we're going to do offset. So O-F-F-S-E-T. And then we're going to use the through option. So you're going, you're going to click through or press enter. So click through. And then what that one does is it allows you to click the object. And then drag your mouse and point to where you want the objects to be offset from, from or to okay so what we're going to do is we're going to offset where the top object uh, so you need to zoom uh, closer if you're if you have a mouse or um, you need to move somewhere here and make sure that um, you don't go over the line okay so you don't go over here you want it to go just there now your O snap is uh, going there, so you don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in um, N E A, enter, and what it does, it allows us to point to the line uh, and touch it, okay, without using endpoint. So just if you if you can zoom with your mouse, you can go ahead. But um, if you are if you don't if you're using a trackpad, you can't zoom in with your mouse because you don't have a scroll wheel. So just eyeball uh, where you want to pick the line and click it, and then make sure that this portion does not uh, overlap. Okay, so we're gonna click this or uh, press enter to stop, and then type zoom, enter, and then W for window. And then we want to make a window and see whether it doesn't. So it looks like it's just there on the dot. How about this one? Okay. It does have a little bit of overlap, so we have to be careful with this one. So we're going to erase, and then we'll repeat that offset. So offset, O-F-F-S-E-T, okay? And then we're going to use the through. We're going to click here, and then we're going to drag it here, and make sure that we pick N-E-A, enter, and then make sure that we pick the line without it overlapping. Oh, it overlapped again, so... Um, I'm just going to offset downwards this time, okay? So I'm going to type in O-F-F-S-E-T -O again, enter, uh, and then use through, and then click this object and just go here down. And that's 0 0.0822, so I can actually just type 0, .0 uh, make sure maybe it's 0 0.05. Enter. There you go. So now that's good. Uh, here, that's good. So uh, we're, we're going to erase now. Press escape this object here. So we're going to just erase that. Okay. So it doesn't touch the line. Doesn't touch the line. And oh, there's another object here that got so this one. You have to delete that. Okay. Okay. There you go. All right. Now, uh, when your offset overlaps each other, you're going to have a gap here. Uh, so that's one object. That's one object. But because they overlap here, there's going to be um, a, um, a connection or a disconnect here. We're just going to do a fillet on that one. So we're going to do fillet. We don't want any radius. So radius is zero. Press enter. And then we're just going to do this and that one. And now the whole thing is now one object on top. Okay, so that's using um, offset through. 